everyone and welcome back to my channel. So Christmas is just around the corner and I'm sure some of you are starting to think about gift ideas and you know buying Christmas gifts it can be fun but it can also be kind of stressful so I thought I'd put together a handy gift guide um, to give you some suggestions for people that love their family history. I've included a range of different um, items for all sorts of budgets so hopefully you'll find something here that you might like. I'll put links below in the description box to all of these if you want to look into them further or purchase them. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first one is a gift subscription to Ancestry.com. Um, I think this is an amazing gift because whether you're an experienced genealogist or whether you're just starting out, um, everyone can use an Ancestry subscription. Their record collections are amazing. Plus, of course, you can build family trees on there and connect with other people. So this one is a great gift for anyone who doesn't have a current subscription. Also, Ancestry.com are having an early gifting holiday sale. So currently their subscriptions are 20% off. That's their gift subscriptions. So that sale is going up until 11 p.m. on November 25th. So make sure you get in before then if you want to take advantage of that special. I'll leave a link below in the description box if you want to check that out. Number two, a DNA kit. Um, I feel like DNA kits have been revolutionary in the field of genealogy and if you do family history and you haven't yet done a DNA test I feel like you're missing out because it can confirm the research that you've already done and it can also help break through brick walls and find new things that you hadn't realized were possible. <laughs> So definitely consider a DNA kit for somebody who is interested in researching their roots. Um, because of Ancestry.com's early gifting holiday sale, they also have um, sales on their DNA kits. They're currently $109 plus shipping. Uh, I think that's about $20 saving from a regular their regular price. So get in before November 25th if you want to get one of those. But of course there's other companies as well. So if you want to consider a DNA kit from MyHeritage or Family Tree DNA or Living DNA or 23andMe or something, definitely go and check them out too. All right, my third suggestion is a framed photo. This one is really good because you can do it on any sort of budget. So um, you can spend really as much or as little as you want. Um, I'd suggest getting a family photo or a historical photo might be even better, especially if it's one that your relative doesn't have a copy of. And um, take it into a printer and get them to scan it at high resolution and print out a good copy. Uh, you can of course do this as well on your home scanner and printer if you don't have the cash for a printer, but uh, it'll just be a difference in the quality, that's all. And then once you've got your copy, trim it and put it in a frame. You can of course go high end or low end with your frame. Just try to think of something that's gonna suit the person who you're gifting it to. So maybe suit their home decor and their style, but also maybe suit the style of the photograph. And I think this gift is really cute and personal and, and sentimental, so everyone would enjoy this. Okay, number four is the Flip Pal. This is something that I don't personally have myself, but I've been eyeing these off for years. I think they'd be fantastic for anyone who's doing family history research. Um, they are on the upper end of the price sort of scale, so it really depends on how much money you've got here, but I think it'd be really valuable because it's a portable scanner, so it's small, you can take it when you're going to research in libraries or record rooms, and you can just quickly take scanned copies and it saves it onto a hard drive which you can then take home and put onto your computer or print out or whatever. So it'd be so valuable while you're doing your research, especially if you're the sort of person who goes out to libraries and does your research on the go. Um, for extra bonus points, if you've got extra money, go ahead and get the Flip Pal carry case to complement it. <laughs> or maybe if you know someone who's already got the scanner, you could get them the carry case to go with it. I'll put the links in the description box below. Okay, number five, books. Of course, books are always a fantastic gift, but there are loads on genealogy, so you've got heaps to choose from. One that I would recommend is Blaine Bettinger's book, uh, The Guide to DNA Testing and Genetic Genealogy. The um, second edition of this book came out just this year, and it's fantastic. It's 
so helpful to anyone who's interested in DNA and obviously DNA to do with genealogy. Um, I found that it was written in a very easy to read digestible kind of way so I think pretty much anyone could make use of it if they're interested in learning more about DNA. A couple more that I might suggest to people are Evidence Explained by Elizabeth Schoen Mills. That one is about you know how to cite all of your records and more difficult citations such as if you get things off the internet or from different record collections that people just don't know how to cite so that one's for people who are maybe thinking about publishing their work or even they just want to make sure that they've done it properly from the get-go and another one that I know is popular is the unofficial guide to ancestry.com that one's by Nancy Hendrickson and from what I hear that one's a pretty good complete guide to ancestry.com so maybe that one's really good for a beginner someone who's only relatively new to ancestry so it'll help them get the most out of their subscription all right, number six, Who Do You Think You Are DVDs. <laughs> Anyone who loves family history has probably watched Who Do You Think You Are? And I feel like this is a really great gift idea, especially if you haven't managed to see all the seasons or, you know, let's say in Australia, maybe you've seen the Australian seasons, but maybe you haven't seen the English one or the American one or something like that. I love this show because for one, it's just really relaxing and entertaining to watch, but also it can give you ideas for your own research. So, you know, it might mention a record collection that you hadn't thought of looking in or might teach you something about a time period that you really didn't know much about, but maybe your ancestors were actually there. Also, I feel like um, after Christmas when everyone's tired and they're just chilling out in January and there's nothing else on TV, it'll be really great binge watching. <laughs> All right, number seven, software. There are some really fantastic software products on the market now for family history. Personally, in the past, I've used Family Tree Maker, but I've heard a lot of good things also about Roots Magic. Um, these programs, they allow you to organize your family history on your computer and you can have all your files together and you can also build pedigrees and charts and things like that. In a way, it's even sort of better than something like a subscription service like Ancestry because, because you'll have everything on your computer and you sort of own it outright. So with like the Ancestry subscription, for example, if you don't have a current subscription and you go and look at your tree, you often can't look at some of the records that are attached to it. So if you use a program like Family Tree Maker or Roots Magic or something, you can have those records accessible all the time if you upload them in there yourself. Number eight, a Kindred Genealogy gift voucher. Uh, how could I resist a shameless plug in this video? Um, so the Kindred Genealogy gift vouchers, will um, you can spend them on our website for research services. Um, we also do things like uh, fact checking, editing, we can help you break through brick walls. Uh, these presents are also good for people who don't have time to do their family history but they're interested in it so maybe they want us to do it for them. Uh, we offer a range of services so just head on over to www.kindredgenealogy.com.au to see what we have on offer and to purchase a gift certificate. Number nine, a family tree decal. I think these are really cute but obviously it depends on your house and your personal style but I feel like if you wanted something to be around to inspire you all the time in your research and in remembering your ancestors these decals are really cute so you could put them up in your home office or in your living room or wherever you might want to be inspired <laughs> they um they're removable so they don't ruin the paint or anything like that so you could just have it up for a while and see how you feel but I think they're really cute and they make a really great gift idea for somebody who's really into their history. Okay, number 10, a recipe book with family recipes. I feel like this is another good sort of budget option, though it does take a bit of extra work. So there's a few ways that you could do this. If you already have a collection of family recipes, then you know, you're already a step ahead, particularly historical recipes like that have been passed down through your family or maybe they're just family favorites sort of that you currently like. The other option with this is you could contact all of your relatives and family members and ask each of them to contribute a recipe to this book. Um, and then 
it's about sort of collating them all and creating a recipe book that kind of reflects how you and your family eat the sort of traditional meals that maybe you have or family favorites um, and then as far as presenting it goes you can either go with a book like with pages and you can either hand write it in or maybe print them off and glue them in um, or you could use like a binder and you could hole punch or use sort of plastic sleeves inside the binder um, the third option would be to get it professionally printed which it depends on how many copies you're doing but this isn't necessarily that expensive there are companies that do it I mean you could go to sort of a big W or Kmart sort of thing here or even websites like Lulu they're not too expensive and they can print out books for you I think a really nice personal touch for this one too is to include photographs so photographs of maybe the people who've contributed the recipes or even photographs of like your family sitting around um, enjoying meals maybe at family events and things like that so it gives it a bit more of a personal touch and I feel like this is a really great sentimental sort of item that won't necessarily cost you a lot of money to put together it's a little bit of extra work but I think it's a really cute gift idea I'll put some links below um, that might help you get started with this one and lastly number 11 a magazine subscription um, there's heaps of magazines and journals that are family history related and they're for all sorts of levels so beginners and advanced um, of course it depends kind of on who you're giving the gift to which would be the most suitable for them like one example that I have I've recently subscribed to Traces magazine that's um, this is an Australian magazine and I've really been enjoying it so far um, it's pretty general to all sort of audiences I think if you're a beginner or advanced or even just kind of interested in history you probably enjoy this magazine and this subscription was $40 and subscriptions are really the sort of the gift that keeps on giving but yeah there's plenty of magazines to choose from so maybe look around at other ones like if you're not Australian maybe Traces isn't the one for you but yeah there'll be different ones in every country so I'm sure that there's plenty of options out there or an international one can also be good like let's say you're Australian but you've got loads of Irish ancestry you might want to think about subscribing to an Irish um, journal or magazine so yes a magazine subscription uh, it'll fit a range of budgets and you've got options for beginners and advanced I'll put the link below to you uh, if you'd like to subscribe to Traces magazine too okay that's about it for today I hope some of these suggestions were helpful to you and I hope that you have a wonderful Christmas once again if you want to purchase any of these items I've put links below in the description box so just scroll down and have a look and if you have any other suggestions or comments please pop them below in the um, comments because I'd love to hear them Please hit the like button if you liked this video because it really helps out my channel when you do and make sure you subscribe so that you are notified when I upload new videos. I hope you have a good one whatever you are doing and thank you so much for watching. I will see you soon in my next video. Bye! Merry Christmas!